Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hi, Excelers. Welcome to my next video. Today, I'm going to show you how to add some custom data labels to your Excel chart. And we're going to use formulas to do this. So we're going to go from data labels that look like this to look like this. OK, let's get started. Chart labels can be useful uh, to help you clarify the message you want to communicate within your data or on your chart to your audience. So consequently, you may want to add slightly more information to them to get some more added value without over cluttering your chart. So the chart today is a very basic chart and it shows April 2016 sales values for six products that we sell. So we can see our sales value just for April for all of these products but we can't see much more on the chart. So what we could do is create some custom chart labels to show the value of the sales for each product and the difference in sales from the previous month. So let's go ahead and see how much more relevant detail we can pack into the chart. So this is the chart that we're going to create. So it still has the sales value, but we actually have added in what the sales value is versus the previous month's sales. So in QRY1, we're up 25%. We're down 2% in 2, up 8% and so on. So how we do this is we need, so this is our original data. And what we need to do is add a couple of helper columns. So in column D, what I did is go ahead and calculate the difference between April 26 sales and the previous month sales. So this is just a standard percentage different formula, taking the difference between the two numbers, dividing it by the original number. So in column E is the final column that I'm actually going to use on the Excel chart. I used the concatenate function to join the sales figures from April 2016 and the result of the percentage difference between April 2016 and the previous month's sales. I used concatenate. You could also use text join to achieve the same result. And then these data labels are what we pop into the chart. So if I go back to, so let's just go back to our original chart. So I'll walk you through how to create the custom label. If we throw in the equal sign and hit concatenate, we want to take the sales. Let's pop a space in. We then want, then want to add in a bracket to contain the percentage. What we need to do is just convert the 25% into text so it will display correctly. OK, I'm going to walk you through how to create the custom label. First thing, so the first thing we do is concatenate and the first part of text is the actual sales value. Then let's add a space so it looks nice. Let's add our first bracket that will contain our percentage value. We now need to convert the 25% so it will display correctly back to text and then reformat that text as a percentage. Let's add in the brackets and then close the formula. Let's double click or drag down to then populate the rest of the data. So the last bit is to actually pop these custom labels onto our chart. So if you select the first label, go up to the formula bar and hit equals E2. And just repeat that for the rest of your chart. So that's how to create some custom data labels for your Excel chart using two helper columns and some formulas. I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. You can also leave a comment and ask a question. Um, it really does help the channel. And I hope to see you again for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.